Welcome to a Friday. Today is November 6th. Hopefully everything is going well with you guys. This is a video for those people who are absent or need additional help. Um, here we go. First off for uh, self starts today, students are logging into quizzes and they're practicing unit rates. Here is your game code and you can use any name as long as it is appropriate. Here's your deep thought for the day. You're also down to one week or seven days or 168 hours or 10,080 minutes or 604,800 seconds remaining until our late work deadline. So it's coming up quick. It's one week from today, so don't wait any longer. Even if you're at home quarantined, you can still get onto Canvas, either print off or email your homework or share it with me on Google, but there's lots of options for it. Um, next week. It is going to be extremely cold and wet, so make sure you bring a jacket or a coat so that when we go outside for mass breaks, you're not freezing to death. For today, uh, self-start was just the quizzes. Uh, people are doing a feedback today on unit rates. We're going to kind of do kind of a quick review from what we learned yesterday with scaling up. And we are doing a grocery shopping activity. People are also turning in their homework packets today. So. So feedback, those people that are absent, you'll just do when you come back. Here we go. So kind of a quick review as to what we did yesterday. You get your first job working at the movie theater. They will pay you $161.12 for working 16 hours. How much will they pay you if you only work 11 hours? Well, there's two ways I could do it based off of what we learned yesterday. I can find a unit rate first, so I'm going to do that. So I'm looking, let's see, it says, how much will they pay to work hours? Okay, so the pay comes first. So it would be 161.12. We're going to divide that by the number of hours that they're going to pay you that much for, so 16. So when I use my calculator, 161.12 divided by 16, I get an answer of $10.07. So that's for one hour. So now for 11 hours, I'm going to take that amount, multiply by 11. And I get an answer of $110.77. So that's one way you could do it or set it up as a ratio. So I'm going to put my 161.12 on the top and the 16 on the bottom. We don't know how much they're going to pay to work those 11 hours. So I'm going to put my X on top. That way things stay consistent with the pay on top with the hours on the bottom. To solve this, I would do 161.12 times 11 and then divide it by 16. And that's going to give me my answer for X. And X winds up equaling $110.77, which matches what we did above. So it's kind of a quick review of what we learned yesterday. For the grocery activity, I would encourage you guys to do this at home. It's good practice for you. Um, look through one of the grocery ads, Kent's or Ridley's or somebody. Try to find items that uh, are on sale. So let me pull up the Kent's ad really quick. Here we go. So look for things that are on sale where you have to buy multiple of it. So for example, the cheese. I can get three things of cheese for $5. So if I want to know how much it costs per one, listen to what I'm saying, cost per one, then I have to do the cost, which is five, divided by the number of items, which is three. And this right here would wind up costing me $1.66 or 67 cents, depending on how you look at it. So if I wanted to buy seven of them, for example, I could take that $1.66 and multiply it by seven and I would get $11.62. So if 
find some more items that you know you have to buy more than one and find out what a unit rate for each of those would be. How much is it for just one package of Oreo cookies? Or how much is it for just one yogurt? Or how much is it for just one broth? How much is it for just one pizza or one thing of ice cream? One orange juice, one pizza, one pizza roll. So go through your ads and kind of find a unit rate for it. This is real life application, guys. So um, other than that, that's really about it. People are turning in packets today, so there's no homework. Uh, if you have any questions, please contact your teacher, um, email or Canvas or whatever. Um, hopefully we see you guys back soon enough. Have a great rest of the day, guys. Have a good weekend.